54th annual Dove Awards, here we come. And there is pictured uh, Flamey Grant next to Grace Simlar Baldridge and Derek Webb. Very interesting. Let's talk about it. I saw this picture pop up on my Twitter last night, and I was immediately like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? The GMA Dove Awards happen each year. You got all the big contemporary Christian music artists going. I think I saw I was going through some of their stories from their Instagram account. The Brandon Lakes, the Phil Wickhams, uh, you guys know. And when I see this picture posted by Derek Webb, the former frontman for evangelical Christian band Cademan's Call, I see him post this and I'm like, whoa, 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 cat statue. Slow me down. What's happening here, cat statue? Is this an alternate universe? Because my initial thought, you have these three artists that I would put them in. They're either LGBTQ themselves or they're LGBTQ affirming, but they're still kind of in this weird Christian-y space. I'm about to read an article that kind of breaks some of this down and, and what they were doing at the GMA Dove Awards. Yeah, Flamey Grant, this, this artist that is apparently... Seems to be getting some steam. It's uh, it's this dude in drag next to Grace Baldridge, who her album that we actually covered, and I'll post a link to our video that we made on it a little while back. She dropped an album, Preacher's Kid. If I'm remembering correctly, it had it was just kind of talking about church hurt, and you know now she's this LGBTQ identifying person, and then Derek Webb there, and I mean, looks like uh, little Bo Peep, <laughs> and they're headed to the Dove Awards. My initial thought, oh, and by the way, I, I just saw that Plum Music commented on Derek Webb's photo here, lead the way in helping space to be made for all. Love to each of you. The Christian contemporary music industry, and I'm not speaking for everyone, but man, it's, uh, we're seeing some stuff, aren't we? We're seeing some stuff. I, I feel like um, more so from artists that were bigger, you know, back when I was like a teenager and now they're coming out deconstructing or LGBTQ affirming. But my initial thought when I saw this picture was GMA Dove Awards just invited these Christian, I put them in quotes cause I Christian identifying as Christian. They identify their music as Christian. These Christian -y artists. GMA Dove Awards invited them. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh man, if this is the case, ooh, then we're in, we are in rough shape, man. That was my initial thought because these are, you know, these artists. But then I'm like, okay, maybe they just paid to go to the Dove Awards. And I, I was just like hoping that was the case. And so I hopped on, I did some snooping, hopped on Flamey Grant's Instagram and I saw that this person in drag, and by the way, uh, Derek Webb's Instagram, he goes by he, him. He's got that in his bio, of course. Flamey has she, they. So Flamey Grant goes by she, they now. But I saw a story from Flamey posting videos of uh, different performances and it looks like they are kind of uh, pretty far back in the crowd. So I'm thinking, okay, I don't think they were invited by the GMA Dove Awards. I don't think they are up for a, an award. I don't think they were nominated. And frankly, I'm very happy about that because if that had been the case, oof. But I still found it interesting. And as I was doing my snooping, so like what's going on here? It's a little odd that these three figures dressed in, you know, two of them dressed in drag, one's LGBTQ. Grace is a, I think she's, she's either living with her girlfriend or married. I'm, again, I'm trying to kind of like remember back from when we made our video on her, but she's very much embraced and is a frontman spokesperson for this gay lifestyle. But then she's putting out this music that's in this weird, like Christian-ish genre. So then I find this article, actually Grace Baldridge shared it on her story. Uh, it's called, Why Will Simlar and Flamey Grant Attend the Dove Awards Where Neither Is Accepted? And so then I start reading and more of it starts making sense. Let's get into this article. Some really interesting stuff here. Before we do, you guys, we had a really good time with our patrons and our monthly patron Zoom call on Wednesday. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for supporting what Morgan and I do online on this YouTube channel. We couldn't be here continuing to do this without the monthly support that you guys provide. If you wanna support the work we're doing here, helping more people be in the world, but of the word, 
consider becoming a patron, patron only Zoom calls, weekly patron encouragement videos, merch discounts, and more. The link is below. So this article, let's read a little bit of it here. Very interesting. Again, it's by Baptist News Global. It says, although recording artists Flamey Grant and Simlar both had number one songs on the Christian music charts in 2023, neither artist was asked to participate in the Gospel Music Association's Dove Awards. Contemporary Christian Music's premier event recognizing achievements. Let's just make sure we really understand what's happened. It doesn't appear that they reached out to these people, said, come, you're nominated, none of that. Now we're shifting our focus on, okay, like, why does you know, the, do these three individuals feel inclined to go be part of this Christian event? What is their angle? But neither of the openly queer artists expected a call from GMA. In 2022, Simlar put themselves, put themselves, oh, when we start getting into the, the plural, put themselves, can we just say she, please, put themselves up for best new artist after having two albums go number one and was deemed ineligible. So Flamey Grant and Simlar took to social media and invited their friends, fans, and supporters to join them in the nosebleed section at the award show, which will be held, blah, 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 on October 17th. Think of our attendance at the Dove Awards as a sort of banner-wielding, exploratory scouting expedition, said Matthew Lovegood, the singer-songwriter who performs as Flamey Grant, in an interview with B&G. We're not going to stir up trouble or demand a single thing. We're simply going to be present to express our queer joy and to celebrate in our little corner of the room. He goes on to say, it will be very interesting to see who comes to talk with us, who doesn't, and what kinds of new relationships and opportunities might develop just from simply being in the room. And here's a little uh, Instagram story that I found on his stories. Thank you all so much for all of the love you have been sending. All of the, I, I have seen the prayers. I have seen the vibes, the thoughts, the smoke signals. I saw, what did I see? An altar. Someone sent an altar. I appreciate all of the love. We've been safe. We've been uh, protected and have not had any negative encounters. Um, except for the one security guard who told me to leave my backpack outside. <laughs> Love y'all. So he alluded to a security guard giving him a little bit of trouble with his bag, but then letting him in. I can just imagine, you know, you're this hosting this, this big Christian event, Christian music, and then you got a guy, Derek Webb, coming in looking like little Bo Peep in his dress, and then you got uh, Flamey Grant coming in all decked out in full on drag and you're just like, oh, as the security guard, you're like, what do, what do I do? It's, yeah. The article goes on to say, accordingly, Lovegood cites representation as one of the driving forces behind attending the Dove Awards. I am interested in representation and taking up space and providing an option for Christians who believe in a God that redeems the whole world not just the heteronormative parts of it. In God redeeming the heteronormative parts of the world, God is still redeeming us from something, from our sinful lifestyles. You can be in the heteronormative lifestyle and still be very much in sin, hearts that are far from God, living a sinful lifestyle. Whether it's heteronormative or homosexual, non-heteronormative parts of the world, like we all need to repent of our sins. Uh, so anyway, independent artist Grace Simlar Baldridge, I don't think GMA has any interest in affirming the contributions of LGBT artists within their genre. Their actual hopes are simpler. I want to celebrate an exciting year for queer people writing Christian music. And we're seeing artists like Plum, artists like Amy Grant. I still don't know if Amy Grant has commented on now this alter ego or whatever flamey grant i don't know if she's commented on it but you've seen maybe seen the stories of her uh literally hosting her niece's same-sex wedding on her farm property so you got amy grant endorsing it you got plum you got these other big artists that are you know are deconstructing it's a sad state of affairs in the contemporary christian music and when i saw Derek webb's post last night come up on my twitter page uh, the three of them, two of them in drag, you know, LGBTQ heading to the Dove Awards, uh, 54th annual Dove Awards, here we come. One of my initial thoughts is they're just trying to troll traditional Christians. 
the believe in the, the biblical views of marriage and it just feels low. I actually noticed that uh, Ruslan commented on it and <laughs> Ruslan just said, cringe. <laughs> and I, I like that. I mean, obviously, you know, if you were to talk to one of these three individuals, as we just heard from them in that article, like they have their reasons. I'm not a fan of their reasoning. Someone actually commented on Ruslan saying cringe and said, imagine writing cringe on a stranger's post instead of celebrating what could be new and thrilling and inclusive and make a lot of other people feel seen and included. Yeah, that all sounds great, but I like the way Ruslan responded. He said, imagine writing so many cliche buzzwords on a stranger's post instead of seeing this as what it is, a cry for attention. It will be interesting to see does this story continue to get bigger to where the Dove Awards has to make a statement on it? I would imagine by now Dove Awards has seen what has taken place here. It's not just three randos walking in the doors to be part of this award show. It's three artists that are very much now on the front lines of this LGBTQ Christian music movement. And so, yeah, they, they probably know what's going on here. Are they just going to keep quiet? Again, I will say it, I'm glad to see that they were not putting their stamp of approval on what was taking place here. We're getting to a place where it's, do you believe what the Bible says or not? And the progressive Christian movement seems to be growing larger and larger. More of it has become murky. There's more public figures that seem to at one point be more solid Christians and now they're affirming and it's like, where do you stand guys? Do you stand on what the Bible says? What do you guys think about all this, you guys? Love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Pray for Grace Baldridge and Derek Webb and Flamey Grant that they would come to Christ and stop leading people astray. Pray that eyes would be opened, that hearts would be softened, and that the truth of Christ would penetrate every facet of our culture. Stand on the word, guys. Stand on the word. Those who endure till the end will be saved. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Love you guys. I'll see you again very soon. Cat statue, lay it on me, pal. Bing, 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 bing. Love you, Cat Statue. Thanks for being here, bubs. All right, guys, talk to you again very soon. Have hope and be free. We cry out the glory planned. Was that plum? I honestly can't remember. Hey guys, as you may have noticed, we get very few brand deals. A big reason for that is because we make unashamedly Christian content. We've had brand deals taken away from us because people who don't like us reach out to them and demand that they cancel us. Due to the fact that we stand on what the Bible says and we don't conform to culture. Which is why our patrons, the names you see here, are so important. You guys really are the lifeblood of this ministry. We could not do it without you all. If you guys believe in this content and you want to partner with us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash paulandmorganshow or click the link in the description. Go, Go team. team. That was the one. That was the one. <laughs>